Hi, welcome to Naresh Shetty. This is Kishore, and today we are going to discuss about how to access private member functions of a class. Okay, in C plus plus inside the class, we can declare the members in three ways. One is in private area, another one is public area, another one is protected area. When a member function is public, we can access directly with the object name from anywhere okay when a member function is public we can access that member function through the object name directly using dot membership operator from anywhere in our program but when it is private okay actually in c++ the main concept is c++ data is private by default c++ data is private means C++ members are private. That means what? When the data or members are private, they are not visible outside the class, which is called data hiding concept. Which is called data hiding. Suppose in a class you have declared a member function as private. Okay, you have declared a member function as private. Then how to access that private member function? and here the rule is you should have to access that private member function within the member function of same class means another public member function of same class now i will show you practically how to access a private member function in a class okay here the important point is whenever a member function is private it is not visible outside the class when it is not visible means we are not able to access that member function through the object that's why here the rule is you should have to call that private member function within the body of another public member function of same class now i will go for it okay okay first of all as usual common header file iostream.h for managing input and output operations in C++ next hash include conio.h to manage the console input output operations means clr scr get ch like this next now i am going to declare a class for example there is a class called employee now there is a class called employee generally employee is having some data like int id character name and float sal now these are the three data members okay employee id employee name and employee salary next to access this private data we should have to write member functions that's why here void get employee void get employee now the point is here i am going to conduct the definition inside the class we know that we can conduct the function definition in two ways one is inside the class another one is outside the class now i am going to perform the definition inside the class that's why c out enter employee id name salary next c in id name sal now here we are entering employee id employee name and salary okay finished next here watch it there is no private or public or protected now there is no visibility label or there is no access specifier when there is no access specifier the default access specifier is what private that's why now this member function is private this data members also private okay and here i have mentioned what private that's why all the members will become what private data members next when private data is available it is not visible outside the class means we are not able to access that's why here in public area okay i want to access this member function 
that is why void ok. Here put EMP now put EMP is the another member function which is the public member function of same class. Inside put EMP you should have to call the get EMP means here get EMP now calling private member function that is why whenever a member function is private to access the private member you should have to call within the another public member function of same class later you have to print the details ok. Now, see out id name and cell. Now, first id printed later name printed later next uh, function closed ok. Now, watch this suppose when this function is called ok actually this function where from where we are calling inside the put emp because of get emp is a private member when it is private member from main function we are not able to call with the object name and it gives the error emp colon colon get emp is not accessible for example i want to access the member function okay void here main function started next first we need the object emp e now e is the object means instance of the class letter cl or scr okay and the point is to call the member functions generally we have to use the object suppose i am going to use e dot get emp actually in this line what happens we are calling the get emp member function but here the problem is get emp is a private member function that is why here it gives the error ok. Now, this line gives the error emp colon colon get student not accessible ok. Here it is going to give the error emp colon colon get student is not accessible because of private data that is why here what we have to do here there is another public member now put TMP. It is visible and public members can be accessed from outside the class. That is why remove the get TMP and in place of get TMP use put TMP. Now, put TMP is the public member and inside the put TMP what we are doing we are calling the get TMP. That is why program goes to this area and this part is executed means get TMP work completed. Later id name salary is going to print it is how to access how to access a private member function of a class. Next here commonly get ch is there when get ch is there program is going to be closed that is why here object is created. Next member function is called and program finish it is how to call a private member within the class means how to access the private members within the class ok. Thank you for watching.